Let's read the question. Resolve into partial fractions. x power 3 by x minus 1 into x plus 2. So before solving this particular question, we need to identify whether the given question is in proper fraction or improper fraction. So there are two rules to identify. The first rule is that the x power should be higher in the denominator. It should be less in numerator. But here, the x power is higher in the numerator. So the given question is improper fraction. The second rule is that x coefficient should be higher in the numerator. It should be less in denominator or it can be equal. Second condition is satisfying, but the first condition is not satisfying as the x power is higher in the numerator. So we'll say the given question is improper fraction. So I can write here the given fraction is improper partial fraction. Okay. So let's solve this. So first I'll write the given equation that is x power 3 by x minus 1 into x plus 2. So let's solve this. So I can write this as x power 3 by uh, multiplying this x into x is x squared plus x into 2x is 2x so minus x minus 2. Okay. Let's solve this more forward. So I can write this as x power 3 by, this is x square, 2x minus x is plus x minus 2. So we got this finally. So now, uh, whenever this kind of particular improper fraction has come, where the x power is higher in the numerator, we'll be using the condition that is degree of f of x is greater than degree of g of x. Okay, we'll use this condition and we'll try to solve it. So now in order to solve this forward, we'll be using division algorithm. So we'll be taking this and we'll just solve it. All right. So I can write here by using division algorithm that is x square plus x minus 2 and that is dividing x power 3. Okay, so let's solve this and we'll see what do we get. So here is x square. So if I just multiply here with x, so x square into x is x cube. Uh, now, uh, this already we have taken x, so I'll be just multiplying with this x also. So x into x is nothing but it is x square, and this is minus 2 into x is minus 2x. Uh, let's cancel this. So minus, so these both get cancelled. So I can write this as even we have to change the signs for these both also. So we'll taking these values minus x square plus 2x is remain. So now we'll try to solve this also. So here is x. So if I just take minus 1 here, uh, we can write this as x square into minus 1 is minus x square. Okay, so this x into minus 1 is how much? So we'll be getting this as minus x and this is minus 2 into minus 1 which is plus 2. So changing the signs plus plus minus these both get cancelled. This is plus 2x plus x which is 3x minus 2. Okay. So this is the value which we got as a reminder. Okay. So now we will write this as therefore f of x by g of x equal to q of x plus r of x by g of x. So now we will just submit these values here. So what is f of x? f of x is the numerator. Here f of x is the numerator and g of x is the denominator. So let's submit as the same. So x power 3 by uh, x minus 1 into x plus 2. Just the given question. Okay. And q of x, uh, just now we got that is x minus 1, which is coefficient. And reminder here we got, so we'll write here that is 3x minus 2. What about g of x? Uh, g of x is the given question that is x minus 1 into x plus 2. So let's say this is equation number 1. And now by using this we need to solve further where we'll only take this particular part and we will just do into partial fractions and we'll try to do this more forward. So I can write here 3x minus 2 whole by x minus 1 into x plus 2. Okay, let's solve into partial fractions. So this is a by x minus 1 plus b by x plus 2. So now for the solving this uh, we'll just do the LCM here, so I can write here x plus 2 into a plus x minus 1 into b whole by 
x minus 1 into x plus 2 okay then this will write just for clarity so I can write this as here we can cancel x minus 1 x minus 1 and x plus 2 x plus 2 and remaining values I'll write so we can write this as 3x minus 2 equal to x plus 2 into a plus x minus 1 into b so now in order to get a and b values what I do is that I just sub submit put x equal to minus 2 when I submit x equal to minus 2 I'll be getting b value so let's do this 3 into minus 2 minus 2 is equal to and this is in the place of x minus 2 plus 2 into a plus minus 2 minus 1 into b so this is 3 into minus 2 which is minus 6 this is minus 2 equal to minus 2 plus 2 which is 0 so this whole part is becoming 0 so this is 0 and this is minus 2 minus 1 which is minus 3 okay so this is minus 3 into b we were getting so now this we can solve it as minus 2 minus 6 which is minus 8 equal to minus 3b we are getting so sending 3 other side b is equal to minus 8 by minus 3 so minus minus if we just cancel we were getting the b value that is b is equal to 8 by 3 okay so we got b value in the same scenario we will submit we will just submit x equal to 1 and we will get a value also so I can write put x equal to 1 in this particular equation. I am just submitting x equal to 1 and we will be getting a value. Okay. So I can write here 3 into 1 minus 2 equal to and this is 1 plus 2 into a plus 1 minus 1 into b. So this is 3 1s are 3 minus 2 equal to 1 plus 2 is 3. So this is 3a. So this is 1 minus 1 which is 0. So this whole part is becoming 0. So I can write this as 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1. So this is 3a. So we will be getting a is equal to 1 by 3. So we got a value. We also got b value. So this both of the values we will just submit x power 3 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 equal to x minus 1. Uh, the equation 1 if I have to write only equation 1. I uh, will be writing this as 3x minus 2 whole by this is x minus 1 into x plus 2. This is equation 1. Again the equation 1 we have converted here. See here 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 into x plus 2 we have written in partial fractions so that also we will write. So I can write x minus 1 into plus a by x minus 1 plus b by x plus 2. So again a and b value we got we will just submit here that gives the final answer. So I can write here x minus 1 into a is what a is 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 by x minus 1 we got and the b value we got 8 by 3 by x plus 2 so finally sending 3 down so I can write this as x minus 1 plus 1 by 3 into x minus 1 and this I can write 8 8 by 3 into x plus 2 all right so even LHS we will write that looks clear so x minus 1 into x plus 2 is the denominator so this is the final question so this is the answer for this particular question I hope this is very clear